An incorporated association is a group of five or more people who come together for a common purpose. It is intended to operate without any proceeds going directly to members, meaning the activities of this group are not for profit. An incorporated association is its own legal entity and operates in its own name. It can enter into contracts, have insurance, apply for government grants, obtain land, mortgages and loans, sue and be sued, and employ staff. It is treated the same as a person. The association continues even though the membership may change. Members are required to follow the legislation from the jurisdiction the association is registered in. An incorporated association cannot distribute profits or assets to its members even if winding up or operate for the purpose of securing financial benefits for its members. There are many other types of legal entities that can be used. These include unincorporated associations, companies limited by guarantee, proprietary limited companies, and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander associations. So what entity is right for your association? Each type of entity comes with its own risks and benefits. So it is important to seek legal advice to determine the best option for you. Consider the purpose. Incorporated associations may be religious, educational, benevolent or charitable, to provide medical treatment or attention, to promote or encourage literature, science, art, or a cultural activity, to provide recreation or amusement, or to beautify or improve a community centre. If the association has a different purpose, have a chat with the association's compliance team. There are requirements for what you name your association. It must be different from business and organisation names listed on the Australian Securities and Investments Commission website. Your association's name must not use any unauthorised names based on the Association's Regulations 2004, such as names containing Commonwealth, Federal, United Nations, ANZAC, Bank or Cooperative. Your name must include the word incorporated as the last word of the name. If you want to use an unauthorised name, you must contact the association's compliance team for approval. If you decide to become incorporated, remember that certain information from your association is available to the public, including your association's name, financial statements, constitution, as well as the name and addresses of your public officer. You will have obligations. As an incorporated association, you must create and follow a constitution, ensure the association's compliance team is notified of any changes to the constitution, keep your public officer up to date, lodge annual financial statements, Hold your AGM within five months of the end of financial year and maintain minutes, financial records, membership records and your membership register. Incorporated associations have proven to be a low-cost and effective method for bringing together groups of like-minded people for a common purpose. They provide associations with a legal structure and level of governance that protects its members and encourages participation. Incorporated associations have been successfully created in the Northern Territory to support sporting club activities and community-based hobbies and interests. If you want information on starting an association and becoming incorporated, please keep watching or chat to the association's compliance team at associations.compliance at nt.gov.au visit www.nt.gov.au forward slash associations.